Hello and welcome to Alpha Military TV. Thanks very much for tuning in once again. My name is Richard Saunders. And as always, if you're a subscriber, I want to say a big thank you to you. And if you found us for the first time, you might want to consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button as well. And if you'd like more information on Alpha Militaria and a whole bunch of air gunning topics, check out our website, which is www.alphamilitaria.com. And down below, you'll also find some links to our shop and also to some uh, products on Amazon that I use on a regular basis. Now then, we're talking about a rifle today that's um, come out relatively recently uh, and quite a few reviews on this, but we thought we'd throw our hat in the ring as well. It is the BSA Ultra CLX. Now we've done an awful lot of reviews on top-end PCPs and also uh, entry-level PCPs, but we haven't done a whole lot on the sort of the, the mid-price range. So that's what we're doing today. Now this rifle, uh, the recommended retail price is £609. I've seen it a little bit cheaper than that. Um, but it's a take on an absolute classic. The BSA Ultra is one of the um, Hall of Fame PCP rifles, if you like. And this is a, a modern uh, update of it. Now when BSA bought this out, a lot of people said, complained that it was just basically a warmed over version of the old Ultra. Completely wrong. There's lots of new features on this rifle that really um, takes a modern classic and takes it to the next level. Now what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the key features on the rifle as usual. Uh, then we'll go through the, old, the whole um, air filling, magazine filling process, zoom in on some, on some of the key components in close up. And then, I'm down at one of my permissions here, we'll give it a bit of a shoot. So I'm going to apologise straight off for the fact that I'm out in the open here today. It's a little bit breezy. Um, but I've got the furry microphone thing on which hopefully will cut out some of the noise but if it gets a little bit rustly I apologize for that. So then the BSA Ultra CLX. Now CLX is Roman numerals for 160 uh, which coincides with the fact that BSA is celebrating its 160th anniversary and uh, the rifle as I say is a modern take on a, on a real classic um, but it retains the BSA Ultra characteristics of being very very short compact and very light as well. Overall, it's uh, 820 millimeters long, which includes this little um, uh, muzzle brake here. Uh, weighs just um, 2.6 kilos, which I think is 5.7 pounds. So very, very light as well. And the barrel is a uh, BSA's Cold Hammer Forge barrel, 317.5 uh, millimeters, about 12 and a half inches long. Um, so overall, a very, very light, very, very compact rifle. Um, now then, key features. So um, when this rifle was first launched, there were a, a limited number of walnut stock versions of it. But the vast majority of CLXs are now uh, with this beach stock. And it's a beautiful beach stock, uh, very similar to the Ultra SE stock. Uh, completely ambidextrous and is very easily identified as a BSA stock because of this large swoopy cutout at the bottom here and this high uh, cheek piece. Uh, but starting at the back, you have uh, a perforated rubber shoulder pad here, which is a little bit squishy and very comfortable. There's no adjustment, but you really don't need it, to be honest, because you have this high cheek piece, which gives you really good alignment uh, to a scope, which is mounted on dovetail rails. There are uh, the scope. I should say the, um, the stock is made by Minelli of Italy, uh, and it really is a beauty. Now there's some patches of uh, checkering on the pistol grip on both sides of the forend, which give you really good shoulder fit um, and make it very, very grippy and comfortable. The, the trigger is a post and shoe kind of match style trigger, um, nice and comfortable in the finger. Uh, it's fully adjustable. As you can probably see underneath here, there's a slot underneath here, uh, which gives you access to some screws to make those adjustments to weight and length of pull. Um, but out of the box, I found this a very comfortable, um, crisp trigger. Good to find stages between the first and second stage and a very nice let off as well. At the back of the rifle, you have one of the new, the new features of this rifle, which is a new rotary style uh, safety catch, well away from the trigger, which I like, and is absolutely perfectly located for your finger. Um, in the right hand, switched over, pushed over to the right, the rifle is safe and then it's very easy to click over with your, the thumb of your uh, trigger hand uh, to the left to make the rifle live. Above that is the bolt, um, the Ultra SE, uh, and the, uh, it's a bolt action rifle, and I do love a bolt action. 
it's two stages. You pull it up, then pull it back a first stage, and then the second stage to cock the rifle, and you push it forward and down again. And that pushes a pellet through um, the new style magazine, another new feature on this rifle. Um, it's a, uh, a 12 shot capacity magazine in 177 and 22. And if you notice, um, it sits within this block and the, the block is a new design mono block as well. So another new feature on this rifle um, means that it doesn't sit above um, the breech here so that you can, although the, 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 the dovetails are split in two halves either side of the magazine, you can mount a scope very, very low down to the barrel. And there's also, on, on other BSAs, there's like a, a retaining catch, sort of on the other side, kind of up here kind of thing, that you would have to uh, flick forward to take the magazine out and then flick back to lock it. You don't have that on the Ultra CLX, it just goes in and out uh, with the bolt. Now forward of that, you have this 12 and a half inch, 317.5 millimeter BSA cold hammer forged barrel. One of the best barrels um, in the market. Now there's several different ways of making barrels or making the rifling on barrels. Um, cold hammer forge relates to the fact that um, a blank barrel has a, a mandrel or a rod inserted into it. And on the, the surface of that rod, it has the rifling pattern and then literally hammers smash down on the barrel um, and um, cause the, the rifling to be imprinted from the inside, from the mandrel. Um, now the advantages of that are, it makes for a very, very durable um, rifle. The, the rifling is uh, more accurately uh, and more consistently imprinted on the inside of the rifle, so it obviously gives uh, better accuracy uh, and consistency as well. And then on the end, by unscrewing this uh, muzzle brake, there is a, a half inch UNF thread, which enables you to put a, a silencer on the end. Now, the other efficiencies of this rifle relate to the whole um, use of air. There's slightly increased air capacity and the whole valving and uh, system internally just makes for a more efficient use of air. And although this, this rifle is not regulated, um, the shot count has increased by about 50% over the Ultra SE. So you're looking right around, at around about 60 shots in 177 and 72 shots in 2.2. Um, and that shot count was a little bit of a weakness uh, on the, the predecessor to this rifle, so onto the, or the, the SE model. Um, fine for hunting, but if you're on the range, you know, you'd be filling up constantly. Much less of an issue on this rifle. Uh, and then to finish it off, you also get a couple of, of sling studs, um, which you can use obviously to attach a sling or to, uh, to put a bipod on the front here as well. So I think we've covered everything. What we'll do is now is, I think I'll, I'll nip home uh, and do the, the close-ups in the uh, recording garage. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the rifle on the range, see how it shoots. Uh, and I'll also cover the, the air filling process and the magazine filling process um, back in the uh, recording garage as well. So I've popped back to the recording garage so I can show you some of the finer details on the Ultra CLX in close-up. So removing the magazine out of the Ultra CLX is really easy. There's no secondary catch like there is on other BSA PCPs. All you have to do is make sure your rifle is on safe, pull the bolt back, and then the magazine pulls out from the left side of the breech. So it's an all new magazine design um, for the BSA Ultra CLX. Um, 
The magazines are red for 2.2 and blue for 1.77, and they both take 12 shots each. I don't know if you can see on there, but the magazine, the shots are numbered uh, 1 through 12. So as you come down, as you look down the left-hand side of the rifle, um, you'll see that shot count coming down, and that will tell you how many pellets you've got left in the magazine. Now, when you get down to one, it doesn't go to zero. So you just need to keep an eye out for that one and then realizing when you're on one and you've taken that shot, you're out of shots in the magazine. But filling it up is really, really easy. Um, you can see, hopefully, that there's a hole in the top of the magazine just here. Um, take your pellets nose first. Just put them into the hole. Turn the inner drum round to the next chamber and just pop it in another pellet in. And keep going. And basically keep going until you've filled up all of the holes. And that counter will tell you um, where you're up to each time. So let's just assume that that's full. Um, and then when you come to um, loading the, the magazine into the breech, it's very simple as well, and I'll show you that next. So as I said before, the magazine is inserted into the breech on the left-hand side. This magazine's empty now. Um, and it's just a case of pulling back the bolt as far as it will go. And then with the, the counter facing you and the round side of the magazine facing out, you literally put it into the breech and return the bolt. Easy as that. Now, along with everything else in the rifle, you will receive a, a filler probe, along with some spare O-rings and some oil and stuff. The filler probe is this gold piece up here, and this is an aftermarket uh, attachment. And to fill the rifle, you've got to just rotate this collar on the front of the cylinder to reveal the, uh, the actual fill port itself. And then push the probe in, obviously connect your airline, be that from a compressor or a bottle or a stirrup pump, and then give the, uh, the CLX a 232 bar fill uh, for 60 shots in 177 or 70, 72 shots in 22. Then once you've filled that, obviously you need to bleed off your airline um, and then remove the fill probe and then just rotate that collar again just to make sure no uh, dirt and muck gets into the workings. The pressure gauge on the Ultra CLX is located on the end of the air cylinder, right underneath the, the muzzle, which is not my favorite location for an air gauge, but lots of manufacturers do it. But BSA have said that they designed the gauge on the Ultra CLX to have a 275 degree visibility arc, so that you can actually check the gauge without looking directly at it, uh, but from an angle. And I have to say, it, it does work actually. Right, the moment of truth then, let's see how the Ultra CLX shoots. Now I've set a target down uh, at 30 meters. I'm on one of my permissions. It's a little bit windy down here. The wind is left and right, so I'm getting my excuses in early. Um, but yeah, target at 30 meters, and I'm using Air Arms Diablo Field Pellets, 2.2 caliber. These are the 5.52 millimeter size. So let's see how we get on.
Well, that's 12 shots. Let's go and see how that grouped. So that's 30 meters with Air Arms Diablo Fill pellets. 2.2, 5.52 millimeter size, full 12 shot magazine. It is a bit breezy over here today. Those are my excuses, but I would say 10 of those shots have gone through the same hole. One a little bit low down here, and then that was the last one with the tape on my board came off and the target flipped up. So uh, I don't know if that made any difference or not. But uh, yeah, that's nice and accurate. I did have this on the chronograph as well, and this was pushing out dead on 11 foot pounds too. Well, there you go. That is the BSA Ultra CLX. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out our website below and also the links to our store as well. But this is an excellent rifle. This was a great rifle to start with. Uh, and now with these improvements, BSA has, has made an excellent rifle. And for the money, it's great value for money. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.